Welcome back to Inside the Ropes with Coach Mario. Coach Mario, owner and head coach of Warriors Pride Boxing Academy here in Miami, Florida. Today, we're going to dive deep into the lives of boxing legends in our series, Legendary Puerto Rican Fighters, episode number two. We will honor the warriors who have paved the way for future generations. Today, we're talking about the trailblazer himself, Sixto Escobar the first Puerto Rican to win a World Boxing Championship. So grab your gloves and let's step inside the ropes. And this has been requested by many of you. Uh, Mr. Sixto Escobar, a legendary fighter from Puerto Rico. So here we go. Sixto Escobar was born on March 23, 1913 in the humble town of Barceloneta, Puerto Rico. Growing up in a large family with seven siblings, Escobar faced the harsh realities of life early on. Like many young Puerto Ricans of his time, he started working at a young age to help support his family. But Escobar had a dream that went beyond the sugarcane fields and factories he wanted to become a boxer. Escobar began his boxing journey in the local clubs and quickly made a name for himself. With his relentless fighting style and powerful punches, his professional debut came in 1931 when he was just 18 years old. His early fights were a testament to his skill and determination, leading him to the continental United States where the big leagues awaited. On June 26, 1934, in Montreal, Canada, Sixto Escobar made history. He faced Baby Casanova for the vacant world bantamweight title. Escobar's aggressive style and unwavering focus led him to a decisive victory with that win. He became the first Puerto Rican to hold a world boxing title. The island erupted in celebration as Escobar had not only won for himself, but for all Puerto Rico. As you all know, uh, in Puerto Rico, once we have a fighter that uh, promises uh, greatness and, and shows that relentless spirit, that fighting spirit inside the ring, that never uh, give up attitude. He is taken and loved by his people, especially if he's a humble fighter, especially if he's somebody with humble roots, somebody that uh, that does not brag or boast about himself. These are the type of fighters that are admired and loved by our island. So I imagine Six to X Obar when, when he won that championship, in a Puerto Rico of, of the 1930s where none of the, uh, the uh, technology and the advancement that we have today in Puerto Rico, none of that was around. There was a lot of poverty back then. Uh, it must have given a lot of hope to the people there in the island. And I can just only imagine uh, how people felt with uh, a small, uh, humble, a uh, man from Barceloneta, Puerto Rico, achieving this great feat of becoming world champion. So, being a champion isn't just about winning the title, it's about defending it. Escobar faced formidable opponents like Lou Salica and Indian Quintana. Each defense showcases skill, resilience, and heart. His bout with Lou Salica in 1935 was particularly memorable ending in a draw, but solidifying Escobar's reputation as a tenacious and strategic fighter. Even champions faced setbacks. In 1937, Escobar lost his title to Luz Alica in a controversial split decision. However, true to his nature, Escobar didn't let this defeat define him. He continued to fight, displaying the spirit and determination that had made him a champion. His resilience is a lesson to all aspiring fighters. Never give up, no matter the obstacles. After retiring from boxing in 1940, Sixto Escobar transitioned to civilian life. He returned to Puerto Rico, where he remained a beloved figure. Escobar took on various roles, including working for the Puerto Rican government. He served in the recreation and sports department, helping to promote and develop athletic programs for the youth. Escobar's contribution extended beyond the boxing ring. He was committed to giving back to his community and ensuring that the next generation had opportunities to thrive in sports. 
His involvement in public service reflected the same dedication and passion he displayed in his boxing career. Sixto Escobar's impact on boxing and Puerto Rican sports is undeniable. He retired in 1940 with a record of 43 wins, 22 by knockout, 22 losses, and three draws. His legacy lives on, not just in the record books, but in the hearts of Puerto Ricans. In 1977, he was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, cementing his place among the greats. The Sixto Escobar Stadium in San Juan stands as a tribute to his contributions, a place where new generations of athletes can find inspiration. Escobar's journey from a small town in Puerto Rico to the world stage is a testament to what can be achieved with determination, skill, and heart. In his later years, Escobar continued to be involved in the community and remain a respected and beloved figure in Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, his life was cut short when he passed away on November 17, 1979, at the age of 66. His death was a significant loss for the Puerto Rican community, but its legacy lives on through the stories, memories, and inspiration he left behind. Sixto Escobar wasn't just a fighter. He was a pioneer and a symbol of hope. He showed the world that Puerto Rico could produce champions. His story is one of triumph, resilience, and legacy. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the life of a true legend. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories of boxing greatness. But until next time, this is Coach Mario, owner and head coach of Warriors Pride Boxing Academy, saying hasta la vista. Keep fighting the good fight. God bless you all and peace. Jeffrey was a crack amateur, winning the Maryland State and Southern Atlantic crowns, and also appearing in New York in the Golden Gloves. These are wonderful close-up shots of Escobar in action coming towards us, and Jeffra on the left. That's the end of the sixth round. Coming into the 15th, there's little question in anyone's mind that Harry Jeffra, if he can come through this 15th, will be the new world's Bantamweight champion. He's outgamed, outfought, outhustled Sixto Escobar. Escobar was a two to one favorite in the betting. Even in the 15th round, Jeffrey looks mighty fast and strong. Escobar is the harder hitter of the two, but he hasn't landed nearly as often as has Harry Jeffra. Jeffra still high on his toes, still full of vitality and speed. And that's the end of the bout. A terrific 15 rounder at the polo grounds. And for the decision, As the judges jot down their cards, Harry Ballor collecting them in the background. And the winner is Harry Jeffra, the new Bantamweight champion of the world.